we're going to make the game of golf easy. And today we're specifically talking about the easiest swing in golf. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And I can tell you this, if you've been playing golf for any time at all, the game of golf can get super complicated and super difficult really quickly. But today I'm going to share with you three concepts, three concepts that can make the game easier and especially as you get a little bit older, all right, and you don't maybe move the way that you used to, you want to stick around because this is for you. So let's dive right into it. The first thing we're going to talk about is what I like to call the vertical line. Okay, now most traditional instruction that we see today is, it's not bad instruction, but it's instruction that's basically built around what some of the best players in the world do. So I'm set up right here, and let me kind of dive right into this, because I want to give you some of this really good information and simplify this golf swing. So as I'm set in here, I'm using my live view. Whenever I'm doing some lessons, I love using my live view because it gives automatic, instant feedback. So what we're talking about here is in the setup, I've got a red line you'll see there, and I've got a green line. Now, typically, a lot of golfers are told in traditional okay, coaching is to get the club really around their body and super flat. So notice how my hands work in and around and kind of by that red line, all right? Now, when you do that, that's not necessarily a bad movement, okay, but it does require certain strength and certain flexibility. And I don't think, in my opinion, it's the easiest swing in golf. And that's what we're talking about today. How do we make the game easier? What I like to tell my students, especially as they get a little bit older, is let's swing the club more in a vertical line swing. So I put up the green line there, and I like them to feel that their arms and hands work more vertical. See where my hands work there? Now as I do that, first of all, it's way easier on my body. I can feel that immediately. When I was going red line, I could feel some tension in my back and my hip. But I'm set in here, I just go green line right there. So let me go ahead and hit one. I want to show you how easy that is. Here we go, vertical line. Okay, super easy and easy to repeat. Now where did this come about? Because we've developed an entire system around this concept of the vertical line swing system. And when you think of some of the great players of all time, we're going to talk about the finish position here in a second, but a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them swung the club straight back and up. Okay, they didn't swing the club really low and around their body. Just in over the last probably 10 or 12 years have we started to see a lot of this rotation. So the first tip I want to give you is feel like you're swinging the club more in a vertical line. So you're set up here. Here would be old and traditional. Like I said, it's not bad. Just requires certain flexibility and I don't think is the easiest way to do it is to swing the hands low and around. See that? Okay, that's, I can feel some pressure right now in my back. And I can hit it like that. Let me try it. Yeah, but I really had, notice how I really had to rotate my body to do that? I think that requires a lot of practice. In vertical line, set up right here, here we go, there it is. Green line, straight back and up. Okay, much easier, more arm swing freer and flying. So that's tip number one. Now, tip number two, and hey, let me know how you feel about that. Leave a comment, if you agree or disagree, that's okay, or maybe a certain tip that's helped you play golf and made the game easier, and be sure to subscribe. Join us here at US Golf TV and our family because we're putting out great content all the time and you've got to ring the bell so you know when we put new content out. But let's talk about number two. Number two is length of swing. All right, length of swing. Then we're going to talk about the finish and I'm going to give you a bonus tip at the end that has to do with tempo. Let's talk about length of swing. Let's, for example, think of, let's talk about two clubs in our bag. Let's talk about the driver and let's talk about a pitching wedge. Now the driver is the longest club in your bag. Pitching wedge isn't necessarily the shortest club in your bag, but it's definitely one of the shorter. And think about which one of those two, the pitching wedge or the driver, is easiest to be consistent with. Well, of course the pitching wedge is, right? And you might be thinking to yourself, well, of course, Todd, that's because the pitching wedge doesn't go as far as the driver. And you're 100% correct. But when we talk about the, the club getting longer, anytime the club gets longer, it gets more difficult to control. So the same concept can really apply to your golf swing. That's tip number two. If you want to have an easy golf swing that you can repeat is to use a swing that's more abbreviated. So here we go, I got live view set up again. And when I swing this club, if I just abbreviate my swing, see that right there? It just feels like it's a three quarter swing. Let me go ahead and just right there. Okay, that's super easy to repeat and it's something that I can do with not a lot of practice. The longer my swing gets, let me hit one a little bit longer, 
it opens up the door for more challenges, all right? So here we sit in there. I'm gonna make a longer swing. Okay, now that ball might have gone a little bit further, okay? but it definitely bought, brought more things into play there. So one of the things that is important in golf is hitting the ball in the center of the face and controlling the ball. There's a lot of talk these days about distance. Distance, distance, distance. And I'm not here to say that hitting the ball further isn't a good thing. It is a good thing. But if you're not controlling the ball, all right, you're going to have problems. And I want you to think about this for a second. Think about your rounds of golf when you play. When you have a bad day, okay, why are you having a bad day? It's typically because you're in the trees, you're in the water, you're out of bounds, you're in the bunkers. You're not controlling the golf ball. You're not shooting 10 shots higher than your average because all of a sudden you just hit the ball 40 yards shorter. It's because the ball is curving. And that's one of the big misconceptions for amateur golfers, all right, is they're always searching for more distance. Like I said earlier, I'm not saying distance is bad, but you have to be able to control the golf ball. And if you want the easiest golf swing possible, I like to teach more of an abbreviated motion. So we're going to set in here. I'm just feeling like it's three quarter on the back. Go ahead and swing it through. And I can tell you this, if I make a three quarter length swing and I hit the ball in the center, all right, and my opponent makes a full swing and hits the ball on the toe and on the heel and all over, I'll take that bet every single day because I know that when the round is done, I'm going to be beating them. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Leave some comments. If you got any questions on that, go ahead and throw them in there. Now, let's talk about the third one. That's the finish position. Then we're going to talk about a bonus tip about tempo. So we've talked a little bit about the concept of the direction of the swing. We've talked about the length of the swing. Let's talk about the finish of the swing. Now, typical instruction. Like I said, it's not bad instruction. It's just different. I don't think it's the best instruction for, the, for the, what I like to call the experienced golfer. I'm not calling them old golfers. I'm talking they're experienced golfers. That's the word we like to use here at US Golf TV. Very similar, I like to teach a concept of a high handle. This is where live view is beautiful. So I'm going back here to my red lines and my green line. Now, traditional coaching, okay, we've already talked about backswing, right? See it there, red line, a lot of rotation, a lot of pressure on the back, okay? and then they're gonna really rotate hard and swing it around. See that, I, I can't even hardly do that, okay? For me, it hurts my back, okay? I like to teach more of a system of a high handle. I think that's the easiest swing. So we set in, and when I finish, boom. See where my hands are out there? That just feels more natural. Now, let me go ahead and hit one so I can show it to you. So I'm gonna go high handle. That's tip number three. On the finish, high handle. Now, why? Is that easy? Well, one is I think it's just more natural. It's easier on your body. But the other thing is, if you slice the golf ball, this is the tip for you. Because almost every person I see who slices the golf ball, when they finish their swing, they're low, if they're a right-handed golfer, they're low into the left. Low into the left. The handle's low into the left. See how it's below that red line? Very seldom. I mean, every once in a while, but very seldom do I see somebody who slices a golf ball who has a high handle finish. And if you think, and one of the all-time greats of all time, okay, Arnold Palmer, think of his finish. Jack Nicklaus, the greats of all time. Boom, they're right up here, okay? They're right there. So that's tip number three. Make sure that when you finish your swing, give yourself a little bit of a high handle. So we've talked about the backswing, vertical line versus low and around. We've talked about abbreviated, so we get center of contact, we control the golf ball. We've talked a little bit about finish. But how are we gonna tie all this together? How are we gonna tie all this together? Well, we're gonna tie it all together with tempo, all right? And my favorite drill for tempo is what we call the right-left drill, because it's easy to do, and if you watch closely on TV, you'll see a lot of the best players naturally do it. So here's how it works. You get set up, and as you swing the club to the right, for a right-handed golfer, you just, in your head, you say right. So the club moves to the right, and my weight and pressure moves to the right. So now the club's on my right side, weight's on my right side, okay? And as I swing left, I say to myself, left, the club goes left, pressure goes left. So here we go, I'm gonna do it. Now you like to do three setters. If you've watched any of my stuff here before, okay, be sure to subscribe if you haven't, because you're gonna, it's gonna help you play better golf. I love three setters, all right? Here we go. There's right, left, Right, left, right, 
left. Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to hit a shot. I'm going to repeat that phrase in my head, but a little quicker. Here we go. Right, left. Boom. Let's do that again. Man, that felt good. It felt free. It felt easy. Vertical line, abbreviated, high handle finish with great tempo. Let's do it again. We're going to tie all this together so you can take it to the golf course. Here we go. Remember the phrase. Here we go. It's right, left, right, left, right, left. You can do this with any club. Now you're set up over the ball. You're going to do the same thing and you're just going to repeat it but a little bit quicker. Right, left, God, super easy. You want to keep the game easy. You want to keep it simple. These couple tips along with that little drill at the end will help you do just that.